Remember the movie Armageddon? When there were psychological issues at NASA that NASA had to worry about with sending new people into space? Imagine wearing a suit and going into a vacuum chamber. And the vacuum is pulling on your suit. If there was a tear in your suit, if there was some kind of an imperfection with your suit that could cause the vacuum to just tear it apart, pull the air out of your lungs, probably pull your eyeballs out of your socket, just make you practically explode if something went wrong. How could you deal with that psychologically? What if you weren't an astronaut? What if you were just going in the vacuum chamber? Would you freak out if you knew what could happen to you? Why isn't astronaut training also done in a vacuum chamber? They're going into outer space. <laughs> it is cartoon physics and it's a cartoon reality, but there's supposed to be incredible dangers that you don't have to worry about in the vacuum chamber. But just the fact that you're in a vacuum chamber alone is enough to be scared about. Why aren't astronauts going into vacuum chambers in training? And like I said in my last videos, they would have you handle tools and pick up objects because the gloves are affected by the vacuum. It's pulling on your gloves. I just wanted to bring this up because astronaut training in real life would be done in a vacuum chamber for psychological issues as well. NASA does nothing in space. All of the space programs are fake. Even believing in space debris and debris drone one. It's ludicrous. What they're telling the public is so bullshit. When SpaceX is in the news talking about they could possibly send people to Jupiter's moon with powerful rockets. Where are the rockets on the opposite side of this bullshit to slow it down? Why are rockets working in a vacuum? It's complete nonsense. People need to wake up and start investigating what they're told. Because the fact that NASA does nothing in space and everything that they show you is bullshit, you can tear it apart. It is completely illogical. Go back to some of their older work. Some of the videos that were shown of outer space are really ridiculous. They don't match with what they show you today. You can investigate NASA and you can find some critical evidence and we need to break this wall of deception. They're going to say they found life in the universe in the future. This is ridiculous. The world is going to believe in alien life. That's completely made up. It doesn't exist. They already know what they're going to say. So start looking at evidence and stop being lied to.